In this video, we're going to take a look at solving one-step equations by multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting, all in one uh, group here. So, remember when we're solving equations, really that's another way of saying get the variable by itself. And in these, we just have one variable. You might deal with some things that have multiple variables at other times, but we're going to focus on just the one variable, one step equation. So we want to get that variable by itself. So let's just dig right in here and take a look at this first one. Here we've got negative 20 equals k minus 7. Well, to solve, we want that k by itself. So we need to find the variable, which is right here, and get rid of anything that's hanging out with it. And to get rid of it, we're just going to use inverse operations. So if it's subtracting, we're going to add, and vice versa, and so on. So let's take a look and see what we're going to do here. So, okay. So minus 7, well, what's the opposite of subtracting 7? Well, that would be adding 7. So I'm going to add 7 here, and when we're doing solving with equations and we do something on one side of the equation it's essential that we do it on the other side as well because otherwise our equation gets messed up because remember this means that whatever's over here has the same value as what's over here so I added 7 here I need to do the same thing on this side as well that maintains my equality. You can think of it like a teeter-totter or a balance scale. If you add a weight to one side, you have to add it on the other side to keep it in balance. So that's all we're doing. All right, so then we simplify. Negative 20 plus 7, so we're 20 in the hole. We're adding 7. Gets us to negative 13. And what's left over here? This stuff's gone, and we're just left with K. So if k equals negative 13, it's kind of standard to write the variable first, so I'm just going to rewrite it that way. If you left it like this, that would probably be okay as well. All right, so let's take a look at this next one here. We have, again, there's our variable. Let's see what's hanging out with it. So we focus over here. The 5 we're not concerned about right now. We've got a plus 10. Well, what's the opposite of plus 10? subtract 10 so to get rid of that plus 10 we're gonna subtract 10 we do it on this side we have to do it on the other side as well so we're gonna subtract 10 over here then 5 minus 10 gives us negative 5 equals and what's left here well there's an s like so then again I'll flip it around and we have s equals negative 5 now Here's an important thing as well. Don't forget that when we solve an equation and we end up here, we should be able to take that number, whatever we get, whether in this case negative 13 or negative 5, plug it back into our equation and it should work. So let's just try that in this one. So negative 5 plus 10 would be 5. Ah, oh, perfect. It works. You can always check. There's not a good excuse for leaving a wrong answer here because you should be able to see, hey, that works. Okay, all right, let's go down to this next one over here. And for this one, we find our variable again. There it is. What's hanging out with it? Again, we're not concerned about this right now. Focus right here. So we have d divided by negative 4. Well, what's the opposite of dividing by negative 4? Multiplying. And we're going to multiply by negative 4. So we're going to multiply by that same thing because then those cancel out. We did that on this side so we have to do the same thing on the other side over here. So then we go ahead and this is going to cancel out. We're left with d and then equals negative 22 times negative 4 is going to give us positive. Negative times a negative is positive. 88 like so again you could plug it back in make sure that it works all right then we go to this one right here and for this one we're going to let's see here's our variable what's hanging out with it remember it means multiplication if they're written together like this it's 9 times m so to get what's the opposite of multiplication division so we're going to divide by 9 right there divide by 9 right there and then we have well 
that's gone all that's left is the M like so and then negative 108 divided by 9 would be well we got a negative divided by a positive so that would be negative 12 okay again we could plug it back in make sure that it works and we would find that indeed it does work so solving one-step equations first of all we have to remember when we're asked to solve really what it's saying is to get the variable by itself so we do that using inverse operations remember if we do something on one side of the equation we have to do it on the other side so that we maintain that equality right there that's very very important also don't forget that you can plug those numbers that you get back in to check your answer and off you go hope this video was helpful keep working hard on your math you can do it